another brilliant season of your show, uh, Billions, uh, again on Showtime that returns Sunday night at nine Eastern. And I, it's, it's, it's just, I, I can't wait for it. Um, so Brian, why don't you go first? What, what, uh, what can people expect this season? What is the plot line for this season? Well, I, I'll, I'll say this. Um, you know, we left off last season with things at a pretty heightened place where Chuck and, and, and Taylor and Axe kind of realized they're turned to get one another. And uh, this season does pick up dealing with sort of where these loyalties sit. There are new characters who show up uh, this year who are very important. Uh, there's a character named Mike Prince, played by Corey Stoll, who you might remember from, from any number of things. You know, the first season of uh, House of Cards, and he plays Hemingway uh, in that Woody movie. And he's uh, had his own show, The Stain. He's just an incredible actor. And he's um, a rival billionaire to Axe. And so now Axe has uh, at least a two-front and maybe a three-front war going as Chuck is really mounting uh, his attack. And then you have Taylor trying to figure out how they can uh, come out on top. So there is a, a lot of rock and, and a lot of rolling uh, on uh, this season. Dave, what do you got to add? Well, how am I going to come after rock and, and a rolling? Well, this is what I try to, I, you know what it is? I just try to do this so that you can do this. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you you did this and this for yourself. I, you know, a rock and, and a roll, and I'm going to leave it at that. I can't take it up from there. You're saying I said it and I self-spiked? Self-spiked. So uh, when 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 this season begins, um, it, it picks up obviously where where the last one uh, ended. Um, in terms of uh, cameos, um, the sports stars that have been on this program have been remarkable. Durant, I think, made one last year. Do you have any more? Because uh, the the number of sports fans uh, that are fans of your show, it's a it's kind of a perfect Venn diagram overlapping. Well, clearly, after you were on, we're going to take a big dip in the cameo department. Yeah, thank you very much, David. Tough to recover from that. But, uh, you know, we don't want to spoil any of the cameos, but we've been super lucky to have incredibly fascinating and talented people come on board as fans of the show. And right. if we can reach out to them through social media or if Brian happens to know them as a close personal friend, then, you know, we'll dragoon them into service on the show. I will say, Dave, one of them is going to get spoiled ahead of time. So I'm, I think we can spoil it because he's in the trailer. Okay. He's in that look ahead trailer now. Mm. So and it and it, which will air Sunday. Before, and his episode, his first episode is, is is the following week. So we did get and it's been incredible, actually incredible to us. Guys, our age, the human highlight film, Dominique Wilkins uh, makes <laughs> a great appearance this season so and dominique wilkins might be okay so dominique wilkins will appear on billions maybe before the last dance is what you're saying but well, uh, he's been right they've now. shown him briefly in the last dance okay. i think dunking maybe but yes he is because i've watched all four uh he's uh he's great i'll say this neek comes to play as he always did so uh, he plays above the rim on billions and he brings a two-handed rip type dunk performance he does there dave was there i think there's a rumor i heard that there was a horse game that happened yeah i think maybe between setups a challenge was uh was lobbed at him by one of the showrunners and i think uh we were tight for time so it wasn't horse i believe it was pig but how the did that work game. out what how did that play out you know now that you bring it up i remember i played him in pig and uh i destroyed him the shot was falling that day wasn't it it was a crazy thing. 50 people are watching. And uh, I went to the uh, one-handed three-pointers. And, um, and this is the truth. He, he was, at first, not taking it too seriously. And then I made a couple of them in a row. And then somehow I beat him. And I was trying to get out of there. Because you know athletes, Rich. You know how they are. Sure. And I really did beat him in pig. And then uh, I was like, well, this is great. And Nick goes, no, no, no. It can't end like that. And I said, well, it just did. Uh, we got to get the P, the I, and the G. That's, we're done now. Right. And he stands in front of the exit. He's like, no, one more, one more. And this is so great. And I stupidly went, all right. I mean, what am I going to say no to him? And he was so pissed that I beat him in front of everybody. By the way, the greatest guy in the world, literally among the sweetest, smartest guys. It's incredible the success that he is in life and everything. And you could see why. Because then he went, one more. I missed. I shot first. I yeah. missed. He went to the half court line. And he just, three in a row, boom, 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 and just took me out at half court. 
Brian, Brian Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.